Cancer, we are doing your weekly reading for you and your person. My readings are for Sun, Moon, and Rising. They are general, so if it does not resonate, go check out your Moon and your Rising video. Any extra information you would like to know, Cancer, is in the description box, okay? Um, I do go live often to do all signs, love check-ins, as well as I do weekly readings, okay? All right, let's use this deck, actually. All right, what do we have for Cancer and their person, Universe Spirit? What do we have for Cancer and their person? What do we have for Cancer and their person? Who is the person Cancer is dealing with, Universe, Spirits, and Guides? Who is the person Cancer is dealing with? So we have Temperance and the Nine of Pentacles. So whoever you're dealing with um, could be someone single or someone that has their finances in check. Um, with the Temperance energy, they're definitely being very patient. They could be doing a lot of soul searching right now, trying to figure out what it is they're needing and wanting for their soul. Could also be a Sagittarius or an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Um, but whoever you're dealing with, they're definitely, um, they're being patient right now, right? They're kind of experimenting in a soulful way. In, and by that, I mean like, they're starting to recognize what it is they're needing or not needing for their soul. Um, they could be very much focused on their independence or being single right now as well. Okay. What are their current energies in the situation with Cancer, Universe, Spirits, and Guides? Five of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Could be done with the Capricorn. Um, but your person feels a void here with you. They feel forgotten about. They feel abandoned, possibly. Um, they, if this person has expressed themselves in the past, they may, they may feel robbed emotionally. Um, is what I want to say there. Okay, Five of Pentacles can be about the thief, the thief um, coming through the night, right? Um, but I feel like right now they're they're more so retreating within themselves. With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you could also be dealing with a little bit of a manipulator. Sometimes people people can become manipulative unintentionally, so keep that in mind. Not that it justifies it, but there's a lot here they need to learn because you're dealing with someone that currently is expecting more from you than of themselves. Okay. Um, they're expecting more from you than of themselves. Okay, so however that resonates. Um, what are their feelings toward the Cancer Universe Spirits and Guides? What are their feelings toward the Cancer? What are their feelings toward the Cancer? We have the Six of Cups. It did come out in reversed. Um, give me one more card, please. They feel like you're getting away from them here with the hermit in reverse. So this person sees you as someone that is trying to stay busy, trying to avoid the situation. They see you as someone that may have some grudges against them as well. Um, could be dealing with a Virgo, but they see you as someone that's just, that hasn't really forgot about them, but you're trying to stay focused. You're trying to stay busy in your everyday life. You're ignoring this. You could be isolating yourself as well. Give me one more card for this person's feelings toward the Cancer. So I feel like this person knows that you did, that they did you wrong or they feel like they did you wrong. Yeah, they know you're very bitter toward the situation with the King of Cups in reverse. They could feel like you're trying to control them emotionally as well or that you are trying to manipulate their emotions, okay? The King of Cups in reverse can be very controlling or really can manipulate feelings in a situation, but they see you as someone that is emotionally off balance in the situation and has also shut out emotionally. You have cut the cord emotionally with this person, okay? What is Cancer's feelings toward this individual universe, spirits and guides? We're gonna shuffle, okay. What is Cancer's feelings toward this individual? We have the five, five of swords in reverse. And then Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So you're starting to become disinterested with this whole situation. And I'm sorry, cross watchers. I just read it how I see it. I, I don't know you. Okay. <laughs> I just read it how I see it. But yeah, Cancer, I feel like you're starting to become disinterested. You're getting bored with waiting for something to happen here. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse can represent a lack of interest. Wondering why you're waiting there in the first place. With the Five of Swords in reverse, you're starting to admit defeat in this situation. You're sick of being bound and determined to make this happen here. Give me one more card. 
Or you may see this person as well, sorry, as disinterested, or you see this as someone that is not willing to fight for this, okay? Give me one more card with Cancer's feelings. With the Devil card. Could strong Capricorn energy in this re reading. But you feel like this person is toxic, okay? And I'm also getting that you know that this person isn't really someone that can give you what you're needing and wanting for whatever reason. You see this as someone that's not willing to open up. You see this as someone that possibly may have an ego with that Five of Swords. Um, and with the Devil card, you know very well that there is some codependent issues going on here or there are some toxic behaviors happening from the situation. You could have, you know, developed a little bit of an obsession toward this person or it's like it came to the point where it's not about making this work and make, making this a healthy situation. But you're more so bound and determined to make it work because you feel like maybe you put a lot of energy into this and it's it's at the point that you feel like you need to win this. You know what I mean? Like, you feel like you need to win this. And I feel here, you know, there is some... You are pulling back from this person, Cancer. Okay, you are pulling back from this person, but I feel like it is to get their attention. Um, it's to get their attention. With the page of pentacles yeah you have a very strategic plan as to what you're doing right now you're very being very meticulous with your actions with your words with your lack of words you're being very meticulous okay so this has become a little bit of a toxic cycle we've all been here guys i just gotta read it how i see it this is just one week okay um, but your person sees you as someone that is avoiding them they're starting to recognize that um, but i do feel like this is someone that has left you high and dry in the past cancer and now they're in this energy of you already they know you've given them everything, you know, but somehow they're still expecting more. And, you know, I feel like you're dealing with someone that, you know, may have a little bit of an ego and you're kind of falling under that trap of their ego. Um, they want the attention. They want you to focus on them. And yeah, I feel like it is bugging them that you're not focusing on them anymore. But again, you don't want to be that person that fills their ego. And it comes it comes to a point where you're wondering, why am I even working for this in the first place, right? Because there's a lot of toxic energy here for your feelings toward this person and vice versa, okay? Oh, okay, Cancer. If you, if you, like I said, if you was giving a lot to the situation, Cancer, um, your person knows that and I don't get a lot of remorse. They're feeling abandoned right now. They feel forgotten about, but they're still in this, like, you owe me so much. You know what I mean? Like, they're still in this you owe me type of energy, and it's just not a healthy situation to get yourself wrapped up into. Okay, so what is this person's hopes with the Cancer Universe, Spirits and Guides? What is this person's hopes with the Cancer? See what I'm saying? Four of Pentacles. They don't want to be vulnerable. They're hoping to not open up emotionally. They're being very greedy with their heart, with their time, with their energy. It could be because they're worried how people will view them. They're wor worried about what people will think. This is an energy of scared to take that risky action, okay? Could be dealing with a Leo, but this is someone that knows very well that they can't give you what it is you're wanting and needing, but they still leave you hanging. They still keep you like trying to get the, the bait, you know, bait if you're going fishing or whatever, sorry. But it's like, they still keep you like nipping, you know, and they like it. So I'm uh, again, what is Cancer's hopes in this situation? Eight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles in reverse and the Tower in reverse. So you are very bitter, very, very bitter here. You are definitely trying to dodge a bullet. You may be very focused on work right now. Um, I feel here, I feel you guys are kind of mirroring each other. They have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and you have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So now this isn't really about the love or the connection. It's about wanting up each other. It's about who can get the other's attention the fastest or the most, um, who can make the most damage. And it's starting to become, like I said, a very unhealthy situation. And if this isn't your story, it's not your story, but I just gotta, I gotta read it, read it how I see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, with the Knight of Cups in reverse, I feel like deep down you're having a little bit, little bit of an emotional tantrum going on here, Cancer. You know, you have, deep down you have a lot of love for this person, but because you can't express it, you feel pushed in a corner and you feel like, well, if I can't express my love, what can I do? What damage can I create? And your person is doing the same thing, but they, I feel, have been doing this from day one. They have been very greedy. They have been very selfish um, with their, with their expression and also with, they, 
possibly could have given you a false hope in some way, shape or form. And you're over here having a little bit of an emotional tantrum while at the same time knowing you can't try to force this to happen. You're trying to dodge a bullet. You don't want to burn the bridge. But I also feel like you may be trying to manipulate the situation by completely removing yourself or you, you want to get the one up, right? Um, this is life, guys, okay? I'm not judging. I've, I've totally been here, okay? Sometimes we can fall into this cycle unintentionally where it's not necessarily about the love, but it's about one-upping one each other. And we eventually learn that, you know, that doesn't work. But both parties have to learn it. And your person's being just as troubleful, I'm not gonna lie, okay? So what action does Cancer plan on, Cancer's person plan on taking? We have the lovers in reverse. You could be dealing with a Gemini. This is a very strong soulmate connection, but there's still a lot of lessons to be learned um, and they are ignoring this. They're not in a very committal energy. They're not willing to take on the responsibility. If there is things that may, they need to do to make this happen, they're just not willing to do that, okay? Which is why they keep leaving you hanging. They're just getting a kick out of it. They love the attention or they loved, right? Hence or the past energy um, because right now I feel like you're doing your best to get their attention but in a different way um, but this person plans on ignoring this connection right now they feel like this isn't something that they can take on they're not willing to fight for this what action does cancer plan on taking in this situation queen of pentacles in reverse damn these so I feel like give me one more card for action that cancer plans on taking with the devil in reverse. So I feel like you overall are trying to remove yourself in a toxic situation. I feel like you're going into this week saying, okay, well, this is toxic. This isn't meant for me. But then with this queen of pentacles in reverse, it's the, the way you're doing things. We have to keep in mind how we're doing things and why we're doing things. It's amazing to focus on your work, focus on your money, focus on doing you. But it, sometimes we get this thought in the back of our head, well, are they noticing? And then we find ourselves steering away in directions that are not good for us because we're doing it to make a statement or to get some form of recognition or, you know, to make someone feel like we don't care. Um, and I feel like you are kind of playing on removing yourself from a toxic situation, but you may be doing it in a very manipulative way or it's like you're still trying to be heard when you stomp away, okay? And I get people, people like this, okay? People that leave people hung up, they can be beyond irritating. And I get how hard this can be. But just don't let this person that has already taken up way too much space in your head and your heart to impact your direction moving forward because it's not worth it, okay? Okay, so what is the biggest obstacle keeping this from coming together two of cups in reverse someone continuously makes decisions that isn't in the best of the union isn't in the best of the love um there could be uh, an, another party or influence as well keeping you guys from coming together and most importantly there's just a lot of head games between the two of you a lot of misunderstandings there's just a lot of head games going on here all the kings all the queens all of them reversed okay and i shuffle these decks very well they're all in reversed there's head games coming from both of you and someone needs to learn from the situation and cut the cord. Um, so it gives one person a huge wake up call so they can learn and grow and possibly come together in the future. But right now with this queen of wands in reverse, someone is just trying to manipulate the situation constantly to work out in their favor. And I do feel like it has been your person for quite some time and you're just fed up with it, but it's still impacting you moving forward. So keep that in mind. What is the most likely outcome for cancer and their person? What is the most likely outcome for Cancer and their person? Three of Swords. Oh, we have another card here with the Knight of Wands in reverse. So someone's going to be very heartbroken. Someone's going to feel played. Someone's going to realize the facts. Someone's going to realize all this time they were giving them attention was literally to fill an ego or they were giving attention to someone that was had no plans on actually taking the action needed, at least right now, right? This is just for a week, guys. So I feel like your person, there's feelings here. Deep down, your first person feels abandoned. They're not going to let you know that, though, because they're too, there's too much ego. They have a, a stigma or a, they have a reputation, is what I want to say. And I feel like you are going to be left heartbroken if you go into this week expecting anything from this person. Okay? And I'm not saying there's no feelings here from your person, but <clears throat> they don't plan on opening up just yet. Okay? What is your advice for Cancer Universe Spirits and Guides? 
we have the page of cups in reverse and the two of cups so yes there's love here right but the two of cups gemini got this advice as well um this is about making decisions that is best for your emotional sanity and and for your personal direction and your personal alignment right this is making the right decisions learning from the past learning from energies and knowing how to move forward without it impacting you knowing how to release extra baggage that is no longer working for you right now with the page of cups in reverse this is about removing yourself from you know daydream land removing yourself from the hope and what could be and what may be happening or filling in the blanks with what may be going on with your person and just looking at the facts looking at your current reality so this, does, this person doesn't impact you and where you're going any longer, right? Because like I said, I'm not saying that this can't come together, but your person needs to wake up here and they're not gonna wake up if you're trying to be heard while you're stomping away. Um, so this is about staying grounded in reality, getting your shit together, being bomb as fuck. Y'all, I love yes. I hope this reading wasn't too harsh. It's not even harsh, right? This is just reality. This is a huge situation that happens, especially in runner chaser type of situations. Um, so yeah, just staying grounded in reality, only not giving this person the benefit of the doubt anymore. And when you're moving forward, when you're taking action in where your life is headed right now, do not keep this person in mind. Because if you guys are meant to be together, you will be together on the most authentic path that each of your soul has, okay? I hope this helps you guys. I love you guys so much.